for over 350 appearances year-round, delivering highly competitive, exciting, and patriotic entertainment while providing a once-in-a-lifetime experience to our armed forces and first responders. Many have deployed in harm's way overseas and some have returned as wounded warriors. Although our program has won more than 70% of the time, we understand our unique responsibility far exceeds games won or lost. We represent everyone who has ever worn a uniform in defense of our way of life. We are proud to bring you the 23rd annual Red, White, and Blue Tour featuring the U.S. Military All-Stars presented by Veterans United and Louisville Slugger. Please direct your attention to the field and welcome the American Legion Riders from Post 101, the Indiana Patriot Guard, and the American Veterans Motorcycle Riders Association, Chapters 1 and 5. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have been selected to host the most patriotic tour in America. We have assembled a fine group of Americans from all corners of the globe to support our wounded warriors, many of which have served one or more combat tours. This may also be the last game for one or more of our heroes preparing to deploy overseas. Tonight, you will be part of this very important mission to promote awareness and support for our wounded warriors. My fellow Americans, please join me now for a loud and warm hero's welcome for your U.S. Military All-Stars. his famous bullhorn speech following the September 11th attacks has been presented by the U.S. Military All-Stars to thousands of heroes in ceremonies all over the world. This unique and historic tour provides everyone the opportunity to honor, view, and touch the Ground Zero flag during its cross-country journey back to New York for the anniversary of 9-11. My friends, the U.S. Military All-Stars were established at the request of President Herbert George Herbert Walker Bush in 1990. Since that time, over 25,000 of our brave armed forces, men and women, wounded warriors, and first responders from all walks of life have worn their unique camouflage uniform created by Victory Custom Athletic. The bright yellow ribbon on the front of each jersey is crafted in the shape of an S to signify support for our troops. The names and numbers on the back are historical references to people and events who have shaped our great nation and serve to remind us of why we are all here tonight. Jesse James Mirando was born in East Chicago, Indiana and relocated to Whiting, Indiana in 1958. After graduating from Whiting High School, Jesse joined the United States Marine Corps and served a tour of duty in Vietnam. Jesse received his honorable discharge in 1973 and returned to Northwest Indiana in which he served 27 years at the BP Amico Refinery. Jesse Mirando has selflessly given his time and efforts to not only veterans but to many other groups as well throughout his lifetime of service. At this time, I ask that all fans, players, and coaches 
join me in commending him for leadership and dedication. He serves as a true inspiration in the eyes of a grateful community. of the United States of America. My name is Old Glory. Look up and see me. I was born on June 14, 1777, with just 13 stars and stripes, representing our first 13 colonies. I stand for truth, honor, and freedom. I help remind Americans of our history and our sacrifice. I have led our troops in every war, Gettysburg, the trenches of France, and the beaches of Normandy, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and scores of distant lands long forgotten. I remember because I was there. During World War II, I was raised over Mount Suribachi by five Marines and a Navy Corpsman on February 23rd, 1945. Three of the six men who raised me that day, Susley, Block, and Strength, paid the ultimate sacrifice during the Battle of Iwo Jima. A decade later, I was in space with astronaut Neil Armstrong when he was the first human to walk on the moon, July 21st, 1969. Over 500 million people watching us on TV heard him say, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. As a silent witness to all of America's worst and finest hours, I enjoy nothing more than to wave in a deep blue peacetime sky. But my finest hour comes when I fly at half-mast to honor our heroes. My most difficult days are when I lie in the trembling arms of a grieving mother at the gravesite of a fallen son or daughter. I remain a beacon for freedom. People travel from every corner of the world for a chance at a better life here in the United States. I have been burned, torn, and trampled on streets of countries we helped set free. I was raised again on September 11, 2001 at Ground Zero after the attack on New York City. I am here tonight with you and our brave men and women in combat at this very moment. Be proud of who you are and who we are together. Honor our heroes as I have honored you. My name is Old Glory. 